Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad. Today we are on a video for our tactical weapon series. Today we're going through tactical DMRs or marksman rifles and sniper rifles. So a little bit of a mix here, trying to combine the DMRs, marksmen, and snipers together. Just gonna pick a few. We're not gonna go through everything. Just a few nice tactical builds that I like here. So I will link down below. We did a bunch of favorite weapon series, tactical weapon series, but lately I've been going through and doing the assault tactical assault rifles. We also did tactical SMGs, and I believe we also did tactical machine guns so far. So today, the Marksman, DMR, and the Sniper Rifle, Modern Warfare tactical weapons here, we'll run through. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, just recently released the Weapon Whistlers for Modern Warfare 2 for the Assault Rifles and the LMGs. So we'll have the other episodes here coming up hopefully this week. Get those out. Let's go ahead and jump right into it here. So first off, we're going to start with the vks so the vks here really nice weapon utilizing the odin and for this one we're using the liar blueprint this gives you that 10 round mag look-alike for the actual 20 round this is firing that 12.5 by or excuse me the 12.7 by 55 millimeter sts 130 round so for this one we're going to be running the colossal suppressor which is that long big flashlight like suppressor going to give us a sound suppression damage at range and the recoil control for this weapon. The cons here are the aim walking movement speed and the aim down sight speed. Now, we're also gonna be running the shortest barrel, the 420 factory barrel. That'll give you the aim down sight speed and the movement speed. However, you're gonna reduce your bullet velocity and the recoil control. This is mainly for aesthetic reasons. Otherwise, if we deselect it, you see you have an, a gap there between. You can definitely run that if you're trying to make it more feasible in Warzone or something, but for multiplayer or anything else, I think uh, besides Warzone, this is still a really reasonable build that you can definitely get away with, and I've had a lot of success with, even in Warzone, to be honest. Next up, we'll run Attack Laser there, just for the aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and the aim walking steadiness. Gonna run a sniper scope on here as well. This sniper scope has a really, it has a really nice aesthetic build for this particular weapon versus some of the other sniper scopes. Just look really odd on the weapon. The sniper scope here. Giving us that 4.4 zoom. You can see the difference here between the two, the base and the liar blueprint version. Looks really nice. And again, gives you that 4.4 times zoom, which is actually really good for the Odin. Skip out on the stock, perk, rear grip, and the magazine. Because here in the magazine, we do have the 20 round mag at base. However, it does look like the 20 round, or the, excuse me, the 10 round, just like the real life VKS. You obviously have a 25 and a 30 round magazine option still available. Now we're gonna run the bipod just for the crouch and prone recoil control again just trying to make it tactical and more to real life so this is our vks build and obviously the only difference here is that this would actually be a single fire sniper rifle in real life whereas here it's semi-auto slash full auto so in the ga uh, gameplay you obviously want to switch this over to uh semi-auto before using the, the rifle itself but uh, really effective again this thing i had a lot of fun with this in the beginning of warzone we did our dmr weapon uh best dmr is to use in warzone um utilizing the vks sr25 and some other ones this one was i think number two it finished with right behind the sr25 and today if you're looking at any viable dmr builds from the assault rifle conversions this is going to be your go-to weapon so that is the vks russian sniper rifle moving on we're going to run to the vss ventores so the vss ventores Seen a couple of these pop up in photos here from the recent Ukraine invasion by Russia, but we're going to run again. This is not feasible at all and outside of multiplayer, I would say. Um, anything with the values in SPP rounds is just really, really bad. You can only get away with this probably in multiplayer, and that's about it. But aesthetically, it looks really nice, and it's fun to use like this in multiplayer or a custom game. So just run the base barrel. You can run it. You can go ahead and throw a laser on there if you wanted. Here, we'll just run it blank. Dragon off scope here, going to give you that 5.5 times zoom. Then we'll run the VLK Vintez stock. This is going to give us that Ventura's wooden stock option here for the aiming stability. Skip out on the other two. We're going to run the SPP 10 round magazines. This will give us that 9 by 39 millimeter SPP, that sniper extra penetration armor piercing round for this. And again, 9 by 39 is a pretty big beefy round. So the sniper pen sniper round here through the armor penetration is uh, really good again to give you the aim down sight speed because you're carrying less ammo. Going to give you the damage, movement speed, and the bullet penetration. Cons is you're going from 20 round of what I believe is going to be SP5 or SP6 to the 10 rounds of the SPP rounds on this. However, the bullet velocity on these are so terrible that it's not even worth using, like I said, outside of multiplayer. And then we'll run that bipod there again just for a more tactical real life type build. Looks really nice. 
But if you're going to run this, definitely not feasible. You can run a Ventura's in full auto just with a regular optic on there. And it's going to be a lot more feasible than this build. But again, still looks nice. And uh, in multiplayer, you can definitely get away with it, like I said. So moving on, we'll run to the SR25. So flesh you back, and I'll have to link it down below. The best DMR for Warzone video that I did was a really successful video back in the beginning of Warzone. And the SR25 was my top pick for the best DMR at the time. Nowadays, here in Warzone, these are pretty much unusable. You can definitely get away with them here and there if you're if you're lucky, depending on the lobby, um, if you have a good team to support you. But there was a time when this thing was just a straight-up beast. And I was dropping 12 to 15 kills a game with this thing, paired with the MCX. And this thing would just do some, some work. Nowadays, like I said, not feasible given the crazy sniper meta with like things like the Car 98, K31, other things like that. So it's a real shame. This thing was definitely took some skill to use. Um, I'll link that, those videos down below, like I said. But the Knights Armor Company, SR25, going to run the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel. Going to give us that second longest barrel for the recoil control, damage at range, and the bullet velocity. We'll run the variable zoom sight on this just to give us that... 3 to the 6.1 times magnification. M16 buttstock on here for the aiming stability. Then we'll run the 458 SOCOM round. So obviously we don't have 762 by 51 millimeter conversion for this. So the 458 SOCOM going to be the next best thing. And all you got want to do is switch this thing into semi-auto and utilize it that way. And then here we'll use the bipod again. It, my, my other build that I did, I swapped out the bipod for the angled foregrip as well, or the commando foregrip. And then I swapped out the M16 stock for a mono suppressor. And that was the one that I was using so much in the beginning of Warzone, which was so devastating. But the SR25, this thing still would just destroy a multiplayer for sure. Like I said, you can definitely get away with it in Warzone. I'll have to maybe go back and try it again if I want to suffer a little bit to see if these are useful. But this thing what used to be an animal. Um, really fun, you know, picking this thing back up again and, and just kind of reminiscent on that. But really good weapon, really good, nice looking. Next up, we'll go ahead to the... Dragonov utilizing the Plaxor blueprint going to give us that modernized uh, Russian Dragonov here. We have the, I believe it's the RK1 uh, charging handle from Zeneco. Just heavily modified Zeneco rifle here versus the base Dragonov. So here we'll run the monolithic suppressor. Give us that PBS4. 660 millimeter extended barrel. Tack laser. Variable zoom. And then the FTAC hunter stock for that aiming stability. Really beautiful looking weapon. Again, this kind of really changes the whole chassis versus the base dragon off which is, utilizes that old wooden uh, uh foregrip as well as the buttstock and parts of the upper receiver as well but here we have a picatinny upper we have the what well, looks like supposed to be some sort of m-lock type handguard and upper receiver there as well as well as the uh buttstock on there also and like i said that Zenico rk1 charger handle on there so it looks really nice and again this thing actually not as bad as people think every time i've used this i've actually had a lot of success with it in warzone so i know our, our channel friend here cosmos used to, to dominate with this thing i think this is one of the more underrated sniper rifles in the game but that's the dragonov utilizing the plaxor blueprint go ahead and back out and we'll jump down to the xm 109 now this is the build that i used to use utilizing this barrel this is going to get we're going to start with the xrk harbinger barrel this is that one with that's going to block the muzzle because it has that break on there already so this best the best of a barrel provide or excuse me the beast of a barrel provides maximum recoil control so the harbinger barrel this is why i was really use this i originally used this in warzone when it, this weapon first came out to get the best recoil control I could for follow-up shots. And like I said, you get that big break on there uh, by default. So it blocks your muzzle attachment so you don't get a suppressor. But it's going to control the recoil. The cons are the bullet velocity, and drive sight speed, and the movement speed. But if you learn this thing and you can arc those shots, unfortunately, this this would, this would particular build would not be useful on Caldera because there just isn't that many urban environments to, to fight in. But on Verdansk, there was a lot of buildings, things like that, and you could you could learn the the flight pattern, I guess, of the <laughs> the trajectory of the round and get amazing shots with this thing, especially at ranges on vehicles. You just really need to lead and and um, lead in front and above. Use your mill mill markers on the sniper scope, and this thing was amazing. So again, I use this for follow up shots, and it used to work really really well. Caldera, not so much. Go ahead and put the tack laser on there. Going to run the base optic, base stock. No perk, rubberized grip tape for improved recoil control. 
Then we'll run that 25 by 59 millimeter explosive rounds on there and the bipod on there as well, obviously, for the better recoil control. So this is like maximum recoil build we can get with this thing. XM109, still an animal. You probably can get away with this here and there in Warzone, but typically you're gonna wanna put on the longer barrel and the big suppressor instead of some of the attachments like the grip or the bipod. But let me know what you guys think of this one. This one, still a lot of fun to use. That's one of those meme weapons, but I had a lot of success with it, oddly enough, back on Verdansk. Next up, we'll run the SKS. Here, and we're going to use utilize a fab i believe it's the fab defense chassis system on this so we're going to run the monolithic suppressor 22 inch barrel on there a variable zoom as well as the ftac hunter stock so the ftac hunter stock is going to change the whole chassis of this weapon otherwise you get a completely different looking sc version of the sks so the ftac hunter like i said i believe it's unless i'm mistaken i i can't really remember i didn't look at this before i did this video but i believe that's going to be the fab defense chassis system on this somebody correct me down below if i'm mistaken but it's basically a whole new modernized chassis for the sks which i believe like i said is from fab defense and it's going to change your butt stock as well as the whole chassis system here for the weapon and then we'll put the ranger foregrip on there for that recoil control and the image stability and then i have a customized reticle on there but again this thing still this thing was a lot of fun to use especially i was using this a lot during realism royale very successful with it during that um not so much honestly outside of that uh, realism royale was really good however you're almost better off with something like an sr25 i feel the damage on this just wasn't quite enough but you can still definitely have a lot of success with this and it is a fun weapon to use next up the ax50 we're going to utilize the last chance blueprint this is one of the bundles that i got i don't recall what it was called but it gives you this really nice base camo here on this weapon which gives it that desert camo and it gives it like a beat up worn look to it i believe it was one of the battle hardened packs so we're gonna run the monolithic suppressor longest in slot barrel being the 32 inches tack laser on there that brown or the tan pec 15 goes with this weapon perfectly the base sniper optic here as well as the base stock just because for this video i didn't want to disturb the uh weapon aesthetics or camo that come with it at base run the stipple grip tape for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed and the bipod on there as well so this is a 50 caliber sniper rifle bolt action should be a lot better than it really is unfortunately um, this used to be kind of the go-to in the beginning days of warzone and then everyone moved to the hdr and the car 98 and then obviously we had the integrations of the other games and it just kind of all went downhill from there i haven't seen anybody use an ax50 in a long time but this used to be the number one go-to weapon back in the beginning of warzone for snipers but let me know what you guys think of this list Covered a few weapons here. Again, just tactical snipers, DMR slash marksman builds here. Nothing crazy, but these are some that I think uh, a lot of these, for the most part, I would say almost all that we covered here are a lot of underrated, overlooked weapons that, again, if you're looking for a challenge in Warzone specifically, you can go ahead and definitely try these out and probably have some good games if you can master these weapons. These are what I would call maybe outside of the AX-50. The majority of these are high skill weapons. That you don't see anybody using so these are weapons that i've had a lot of success with in the past for multiplayer and more specifically warzone let me know what your thoughts are down below till next time this is buffering gaming 